enhancing that golden hour sunset light. So this is an image that I shot at Burning Man, which um, is really fun to shoot there. It's really hard on your equipment. Um, the dust really kills your equipment. So, but I just wanted to show you what I did here. The main image, sorry, it's taking a second. I have three filters on it. I have one for the background, I have one for the foreground, I have one for the dress. I'm gonna just show you a reset on this image, okay? It was golden hour. We were in a very cold desert. The light is super cool once the sun sets, but obviously I like things to be really warm. So I'm gonna just first do my little rosin folio preset on this guy. All right, and you can see it doesn't do much. It just adds a little bit of contrast, does some stuff, but it's not like some magical overall thing that I do. I usually then go in and I fix my exposure. I wanna make it more golden hour right? So I'm gonna like really make it yellow, but I don't like how her skin and the purple looks now. It's not my, not my favorite. So I can do this again, picking a filter and pick subject. It's now gonna select the whole subject. I can now really cool her down. I can make her exposure a little bit more if I want to. Um, I can change the, the hue of the dress a little. Highlights, you can just see what I'm doing here. I like to make the skin a little bit brighter, um, make the shadows darker, but usually it's just about making her not so yellow because I just made the background like super yellow, right? So I want her to be more of a cool tone, the background more yellow. Um, but let's say that I really want to make that, like I'm going to go super crazy with this like yellow, yellow sky here. Um, if I want to do a graduated filter on the ground, I can say create new mask. I can say linear gradient, and I can just literally drag up and like make the exposure brighter on this. So it's a little less yellow on the ground. I can even make it a little more blue tone. Um, so now I'm showing kind of like a cool tone on the ground, but then the light coming over the mountain is gonna be more orange toned. And I did all of that usually, like I usually get the color balance that I like first, and then I can work on the subject and. Um, you can vignette this way, but that's sort of how I got the bright colored, um, you know, that sunset golden hour light without making it so orange on your subject, right? 